Hello friends welcome to Movie Flight Channel hopefully you are all well and stay safe. I am so glad you are here. Dear friends please like and subscribe the channel. Also, see the description. Let's start the movie summary. Avatar movie summary and review. In soon, humankind is confronted with a worldwide energy emergency. Man has figured out how to deplete Earth's regular assets, and the RDA, Resources Development Administration, sees an answer for this disaster as unobtainium, an energy-rich component that exists on the moon Pandora, a wilderness planet circling a gas goliath in the far-off Alpha Centauri universe. Mining Unobtainium is a troublesome and exorbitant undertaking, not just as a result of Pandora's separation from the Earth, yet in addition on the grounds that the actual planet is perilous to people. Pandora's climate is harmful to people and the Na'vi, a blue-shaded race of creatures, as of now occupy it and safeguard its current circumstance carefully. Human researchers have figured out how to make symbols, half-human, half-Na'vi crossover clones that can uninhibitedly move around and work in Pandora's harmful air. Human administrators have their cognizance transferred into these substitute bodies. A paraplegic marine named Jake Sully is allowed a second opportunity at life when he replaces his indistinguishable twin sibling as a symbol administrator. He is delivered to Pandora to act as a guardian for Dr. Effortlessness Augustine, top of the Avatar program, and xenobiologist Dr. Norm Spellman as they concentrate on the local greenery of the planet. An ex-Marine, Jake is certainly not a characteristic fit to get everything done, except the tactical wing of the RDA trusts that by getting along with the researchers and coordinating with Navi life, he can dive more deeply into how to separate the unobtainium they so want, either by empowering the Navi to leave their home tree, or through force huge outsider creature assaults Jake while he is working safeguarding the two researchers, and he runs into the wilderness to get away from it. There, a female Navi named Natiri salvages him and takes him to her clan in the wake of seeing a sign that implies that Jake is a resource for the clan. Natiri's mom an otherworldly pioneer, Moat, orders her to draft Jake into their tribe. At the point when Jake gets back to central command and human existence, Colonel Quaritch, security head for RDA vows to enable Jake to walk in the event that he consents to keep an eye on the Na'vi and gather data about their traditions and mysteries. After finding this plan, Dr. Augustine, the top of the Avatar program moves her group to a remote station to all the more likely review the locals' traditions and to get Jake far from the manipulative colonel. Jake before long becomes strong of the Na'vi's situation as he acquires a superior comprehension of their methodologies, and he does right by be a commendable Na'vi champion. He is in the long run coordinated into the clan and Natiri picks him as a mate. With his unions changed, Jake undermines a tractor that was entrusted with obliterating a sacrosanct site, a demonstration that prompts the RDA to arrange the total obliteration of Home Tree. Dr. Augustine contends that the obliteration of Home Tree would likewise influence all life in the world, so Parker Selfridge, RDA head administrator, gives her and Jake one hour to argue their case with the Nalvi to clear their homes. Back with the Nalvi. Jake recognizes that he at first functioned as a covert operative, which makes him a shame locally. Colonel Quaritch has Jake, Dr. Augustine, and Norman linked from their symbols and tossed in a jail cell, yet they can escape with the assistance of a thoughtful pilot named Trudy. During their departure, Dr. Augustine is lethally harmed. Wishing to win back favor with the Na'vi, Jake sets into movement a considering conspiring to interface his brain to a Toruk, a tremendous mythical beast-like animal both loved and dreaded by the Na'vi to make up for himself with the clan. At the point when he effectively ties with the Toruk and turns into its rider, he earns the favor of the Na'vi again. He figures out how to find the overcomers of the home tree obliteration at the Tree of Souls and asks Moat to mend Dr. Augustine. They endeavor to transfer her awareness into her symbol body with the guide of the Tree of Souls, however her human body passes on before the interaction is finished. Jake, upheld by the new ancestral clan leader Tsude accumulates and joins the leftover clans to battle the RDA. Quaritch mounts a pre-planned strike expecting the reprisal. He focuses on the Tree of Souls, imagining that its obliteration will debilitate the Na'vi. Notwithstanding having effectively energized the enduring clans, Jake is questionable of their possibilities of triumph and appeals to Iwa, the supporter goddess of the Na'vi. Jake and Quaritch go head-to-head -head and Jake figures out how to obliterate the plane specialty before it can burn the Tree of Souls. Quaritch escapes and cuts off the symbol interface unit that houses Jake's human body, exposing him to Pandoran barometrical poisons. Nate Deary shows up in the nick of time, in any case, killing Quaritch and saving Jake. All people, save for Jake and a chosen handful, are instructed to pass on Pandora and return to Earth. Jake's awareness is then for all time moved into his avatar. Jack permanently transformed, 